Fresh into his first year of retirement, Steve Marrow is doing all but slowing down. While his day-to-day -day job may have ended, life is staying busy for the former paraeducator. I'll be honest with you, when I first got done at the high school, I said, I think I'm done with that. I, you know, I don't mind helping out a little bit, but I didn't, didn't really want to do that. But I knew the family and I know the boy really well. And I decided, okay, two days a week wouldn't hurt me at all. So on Mondays and Tuesdays, I uh, pick up Scott. We go to uh, over here to the uh, Vermont Sport and Fitness, and he has a workout that he does every day, and he uh, uh, he's very good at it. And then we go down to Meals on Wheels, and we volunteer those two days delivering meals. So we usually deliver to Howard, what they call Howard over here, it's for a part of the school department, and then inner age and uh, down at the Maples. Having some time for himself didn't last long. A week after retiring, Merrill began driving for Meals on Wheels. Today, when not hanging out with Scott and volunteering, Merrill spends his free time, and I use that word loosely, assigning officials for a wide range of sports. But I'm still quite active anyway. I, I officiate, um, trying to officiate with this weather, <laughs> uh, baseball and softball in the high school, and I do some college uh, softball. And I uh, am the umpire in chief for Rutland County for the ASA uh, adult softball. And so that keeps me pretty busy. I have about 24, 25 umpires that work for me. And I assign two different leagues and any of the tournaments and things that are going on. Merrill rarely has free time. I keep very busy. <laughs> uh, my wife always says uh, whenever somebody calls to see if they could talk to me about something, she says, well, I'll make an appointment to see him so that he can make an appointment to see you. And that's about the way it goes. But, but I enjoy it. I enjoy keeping going. He believes retirement doesn't have to mean just sitting around the house all day. Merrill believes it's good to get out and move and stay active in the community. There's so many different places, organizations, things that People really need your need that help. I mean, just for instance, the Meals on Wheels, they're always looking for people to come down and volunteer driving. And they even, uh, like I, I get paid three days a week. You know, it's, it's not a big amount of money, but it's just something just to keep you going. And, uh, um, and, and it's just great. Uh, you get to meet people that, you just can't believe how much five minutes of you know standing and talking, handing them a meal means to these people. And it really turns around. It means a lot to you, too, because uh, uh, you, you might be the only person they see sometimes all day long. It's, it's really great. It gives you a super feeling. In the spare time, he does have occasionally. Merrow says he's trying to keep up with society and embracing the online world. I'm just starting to learn how to get on Facebook. <laughs> I only learned how to use a computer about two years ago, believe it or not. Um, and since I've been on Facebook, I've been getting messages from some of the kids that I worked with from way, way back. And, uh, you know, just saying, gee, glad to see you're still around. Uh, you know, I always wondered what happened to you. you. Gosh, you did so much to help me out in whatever sport it was and stuff. And, and that, that's what means a lot to you. You know, no, you, they can't pay you enough to get that kind of stuff. Merrill's advice to a new retiree or someone who's looking for something to do is just to get out in the community and reach out to organizations and volunteer. You know, you get up in the morning and you just know that you got something that's going to happen that day. It, it makes you want to get up, want to get going, do things. I thought one of the things I would probably be doing after I retired was sleep in a little bit later. 
I'm not. I, I'm up at six o'clock every morning. I'm finding something to do. <laughs> you know?